Hi friends, do you like my new necklace? I hope so because today I'm gonna to teach you how to make your own. It's really simple, you just need a few things. First is a paintbrush to go with your watercolors, cup of water to clean your paintbrush off with, and can you tell what my necklace is made out of? Pasta, so you need a handful of pasta, okay? Oh, lastly, you need something to make your necklace on. I didn't have any yarn at my house, so guess what I chose? It's a shoelace, and it'll work just fine. So anything you have that you can string the pasta on will work for this. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your pasta down on a piece of tin foil or something that protects the table that you're painting on, okay? You're gonna dip your paintbrush in some water, and I think I'm going to choose blue first. Oh, look at that. Blue pasta. I'll do a couple blue. Then I will dip my paintbrush in the water, dry it off. Don't forget to do that if you want to switch colors because next I'm going to go to, I think I'm going to go to red because that's my favorite color. Let's see how red does. There's some red. The red looks pretty, right? All right, clean my brush off again because I think I'm gonna go to, how about purple? Purple would be nice, right? See that? Purple's not too dark, but if I put more paint on my paintbrush, I can darken it up a bit. And let's do another purple. All right, and maybe you wanna count out your pasta. How long do you want your necklace? Do you wanna put 15 pieces of pasta on your necklace? Or if you want it a little bit longer, maybe you wanna put 20 pieces of pasta. So paint however many pieces you want. And look what I have here. That's all my dried pasta. Now the directions that I read said, let the pasta dry overnight, but I'm gonna tell you something. It only took about an hour for my pasta to dry. So since it's all dry, I can go ahead and make my necklace. Taking my shoelace, and you'll wanna have uh, a parent or babysitter or caregiver at your house put a um, knot at the end, okay? Because you're gonna start to thread your pasta onto the shoelace. Maybe do a pattern with your colors. Let's see what I have here. I'm doing Blue, orange, yellow, purple. Hmm, I think I'll do that pattern again. Let's do blue, orange, yellow, purple. All right, keep going until your whole necklace is full of your new beautiful pasta. Let me put this one on. How does it look? Now I have two pasta necklaces. Okay, I can't wait to see what you make. Enjoy this fun craft for today. Bye.